have yet to fall in love with the F82 chassis BMW M4. While its capabilities were never in question, something about the car's personality left us lukewarm. The exclusive GTS, however, is better, and it's already completely sold out, with 700 being made but only 300 coming to the US. The most amazing part of that is that the starting price is a hair over $135,000, and it's still sold out. BMW did what it could to reduce weight by removing sound insulation and the rear seats, although they did put half a roll cage back in. Power is up thanks to a water injection system that squirts distilled water into the intake plenum, allowing higher boost and adding 50 horsepower for a total of 493. The M4 GTS also has a downforce generating adjustable front splitter and rear wing. The front suspension features new A-arms and the camber and toe have been revised. The dampers are also endlessly adjustable. In theory, the GTS should put down a screaming fast lap. The M4 it's based on ran a 139.69. Let's see what the track day special version does. I found the M4 to be a really enjoyable car on track. It handles way better in GTS form than in the street car form, so it, it's a real genuine step forward for the car. It can be driven really hard. It is stable. It has significant understeer in the middle of the corner, and then it frees up and gets really neutral under power. I found that I had to be a little careful in second gear because it had enough power to easily spin the tires, which I did on my first lap. Really enjoyable driving experience. The car is tight. There's no sense of body roll flopping or any of those kind of street car feelings you get on a track. It is well damped. It transfers the weight slowly and under control. The transmission was terrific. It was quick and accurate, and I found it easy to find the uh, right shift point. Steering feel is really good. It, it's balanced. The car is fast, fun, easy to drive, and I'm really happy on the racetrack.